Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm a founder of VChain, Sunny Lu. And um, actually, I was in consensus. I was in the first consensus 10 years ago, back to 2015, New York. I was presenting the VChain prototype. And 10 years later, I come back, and I'm going to present the VChain Renaissance for VChain, so the most upgrades. So the entries is very important. Let's start with the video first. When the Black Death ravaged Europe, it didn't just end lives, it ended an era. But from those ashes arose something extraordinary, the Renaissance. Today, we stand at a similar crossroads. Just as the plague sparked unprecedented progress, blockchain technology emerged as a response to broken systems. Great revolutions are never gentle, but they always change the world. This is our renaissance moment. This is V-Chain Renaissance. Join us as we build the decentralized foundation for the next revolution. All right. So um, what I'm going to share with you guys is actually the most important upgrades. We call it the V-Chain Renaissance. So the target is to build the real decentralization for mass adoptions. But Firstly, I wanted to say something. I, I feel a little bit emotional now, you know, for the last 10 years in the crypto side. Firstly, I want to say something, appreciation to consensus, because consensus has been the vital witness and a catalyst for the entire blockchain evolving, you know, facilitating many dialogues, inspiring everyone. Honestly, I feel like we are part of the history already. And we are going to make new histories. So firstly, let's take a quick look about the market sentiment. Um, in summary, I would say it's pretty bullish. You know, those, that, that's a survey done by BCG just a few weeks ago to all of the investors combining retails and the instit institutions as well in the US market as major. And 51% of the investors are looking at Bitcoin long-term value, not surprise, but follow up by sustainability, AI, RWA, stablecoin, those type of narratives. And also, um, when the, those investors are looking at the target portfolios, you know, number one, 77% people are looking at the price trends, not surprise, but also at the same time, 74 equally like, almost equal, like 77 are looking at the real world use cases. And also in summary, 76% of investors believe crypto is going to outperform any traditional assets in the long run. So I would say it's pretty bullish. And the market is maturing. So I believe the crypto and the blockchain for a long time. And I devoted myself into the industry for more than 10 years. Um, also, I believe the biggest moat of the Web3, of the crypto, is actually token liquidity. However, it's not the only thing matter. It cannot be only thing matters. I would say right now, it's a moment for the in entire industry to more focus on utility driven. Because mass adoption hinge on, hinge on one thing. It's about the user. Right? The Web3 also focus on the user. So bringing the utility application to the user should be the priority. And luckily, Vijing has been doing this for eight years. Since 2017, we have been focused on the utility creation and also the mass adoption. From enterprise applications, you know, like supply chain, track and trace, food safety, until the recent mission harness blockchain technology for good, we have been always iterating and you know, creating the different type of platform. And the latest one, we call it VBetterDAO, is actually leveraging, creating, merging the enterprise applications and the retail applications by leveraging the ultimate power of Web3. So the real question now is, what is the ultimate power of Web3? I had a different answer. Decentralization, immutability, 
transparency, trustless, the all true answers. You know, I had those different answers. But in summary, I would say all of those blockchain features can be summarized into an ultimate power of Web3, which is a marginal effect for collective value. So what is a marginal cost? Marginal cost is the expense to serve one more user. And I believe the Web3 can drive it towards zero. So it's, it's just like the internet. The internet creates the new business interactions or business revolution through the marginal effect. Think about that. The out, marginal effect is the outsized impact coming from small actions. And the example is you can send a very single internet post over any kind of social media channel to outreach millions of users instantly. Right? And I believe the Web3 is going to do the same. So that's what we build the vbetter.com. If you go to vbetter.com or vbetter.org, you can check it out. All of the different applications, all of the user engagement. So the vbetter.com is a platform to enable enterprises, startups, even the individual developers to build different type of application, incentivize user to do better action or make a better choice. Let me show you some good examples. The first one is a very simple one. It's actually we call it mark shot. Basically, you can um, try to reduce the paper cups or plastic cups when you drink coffee or tea. And you can just take a photo, simple action but great imp impacts. And take a photo about your recycle mark, and you get rewards. Very simple. And also later on, we're also working on the smart mark, which is going to, let's say, even improve the user journey about um, you know, the, all of the application to use that. And so far, more than 900,000 users, 7 million, 7 million paper cups has been reduced. It's a very impressive application. Also, the other one is about the fullocean.com. We had the event in Miami last month. And we got a great support from the man, Dana White. He actually showed up to attend the whole event, literally pick up 20 pounds cat, uh, trash out of the beach, make the, um, the, you know, the beach cleaner. And even more, he, he started to become our official advisor and in, incentivize calling the actions to his 100 million fans to do the same thing, just pick up the trash, clean up the corner, and you know, later, late, a couple of days later, we went to see the Mr. President. I know he's not a favorable person in Canada, but he also loved this idea. And my favorite application is actually EVEARN. EVEARN is incentivized Tesla users right now. Every time you drive Tesla and charge your Tesla cars, you get rewards. And better thing is, we finished the API with Tesla system. So basically, user can use your Tesla accounts to log in this application and enjoy the rewards by using the car. So no more memory phrase or private keys and make it more for mass adoptions. And last case, it's a new launched application we called newbilla.ai. It's a deep in and AI project, which using the portable crime data collector to incentivize user to collect the data everywhere. You can set up on the terrace. You can you know, take it with you when you are traveling. So the best part for this project is already collaborating with several business partners to monetize the data value. So for example, they have been working with Winbits, support the aviation management, also working with ways to help thousands of households to save the water consumption and also earn the rewards, right? So it's very cool. Like, you can contribute to sustainable actions, make a great impact, but also at the same time, you're saving the money, you earn the rewards. So when we think about the use case, it's really about for the mass adoption. But the second part of the upgrade is we call it VeChain Renaissance. It's about the protocol and tokenomics upgrades. As, let's say, an old guy in the crypto industry, I would say the decentralization 
is the promise of the blockchain, right? Is removing the technical barriers, empower the individuals. However, decentralization is very hard, right? Decentralization is difficult to, ach to achieve. The mining pool can be centralized. Staking service can be centralized. So what is a, what is a barrier? The difficult part is the technical barrier to run or to participate the decentralization. So you have to maintain a certain level of technical capability to run the validator. It kind of, let's say, um, exclude lots of the normal people to go. So what we really do is to have a novel design in terms of NFT. So basically, you can stake the VAT, our token, into a smart contract, and then mint the NFT out. I use the N NFT to participate the protocol level directly. Also, on top of that, you can earn the rewards from the protocol directly, other, through, other than through any kind of middleman. Right? So not only about looking for, aiming for star and space to have the real decentralization by sweeping the technical barriers, but also, I know, we got to be practical. We got to be ground landing. And we also need to have attractive incentive by staking. So there are already two simulators in the ecosystem. Go to check it out. You can have a direct impression if you stake how much rewards you can get to enable the real decentralization. And simply to say, more VT staked, higher API, and also the more security for the, for the future scaling up. So our goal is to have the entire VET staking in the entire network fourfold as today's level. And following the roadmap, we're going to have a two different phase this year. And especially in July 1st, I know using the NFT to participate in the network security for the real decentralization, it's kind of first thing to do in the entire industry. So we built a simulator program or bootstrapping phase starting from the July 1st. And we call the platform a Stargate. Will be the platform to swap, mint, manage your NFT to, to directly play the delegator role and be directly part participants in the decentralization for the whole network. So in a summary, I would say it is a moment to starting from, let's say, being no more just being a passive holder, but an active architect for the future VeChain network blockchain. And you can start with a single validator. You can start with a low-level delegator or upgrade to the top node of NFT. Every action, every staking, every participant actually matters. So I believe the future of the blockchain is going to hang on two phrases, real decentralization, also mass adoptions, whatever from the infrastructure level or from the use case level. So if you are getting excited about uh, VBetterDAO uh, applications and progress, or you get excited about the uh, VeChain Renaissance upgrades, go to download our VWord as a wallet, or uh, follow us on uh, x.com as a social accounts. Thank you very much.